we are going to have baby back ribs for dinner. And I'm going to show you what works best for me, and I hope it will work best for you. I know that some people put rub on their baby back ribs, but I don't cook them that way. This is the method that I have used over many years of making ribs, and it's always a family favorite. So this is what I do. First of all, as you can see, this, this is in a vacuum sealed package. So the first thing that I have to do is I have to remove the vacuum seal. So this is how I go about doing it. It has a liquid in it, and I have to get it out of the liquid. So I just pull it out, and then the next thing I do is I wash it. So I just wash it thoroughly. wash it thoroughly. Okay, now I don't want to drip water all over my floor, so I'm going to slip it in this plastic container and I'm going to move it over to my little island. So this, this piece of meat has a membrane that I have to remove. And so here's how I go about doing that. I just simply take my finger and I slip it under and then I pull it up. And then as it, then I remove it. And once you do this, it's a lot easier to eat. It's a lot easier to get your seasoning on your meat. It's just a, something you need to do, or it's something that I always do. So that's gone. Okay, now, a lot of times people would come in and they would take this piece of meat and they dry it off, they put their rub on it, and they stick it in the oven and they would bake it. Or they would put it on the grill and they would cook it there. And that's easy and that works, but it doesn't work for me. Because what I like to do is I like to take each rib, and I come right in this part of it and I slice it down. And I'm going to slice each and every one of these just like this. And this is just how I do it. This is just what works. It's not difficult. Very easy. Especially if you just sharpened your knife, it's very easy. So I am going to cut each one of these individually like this. This is kind of an odd piece of meat, it always is on the end, but it's just what it is. Okay, now you saw that I washed my meat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this pot. add salt to this pot of water and I'm going to put an ample amount of salt and then I'm going to drop each one of these individual ribs inside of this pot and I'm going to let it come to a full boil I'm going to reduce the heat and I'm just going to let it cook for a little while and I know you may question why I'm doing that but the reason I'm doing this is because I like to get some of the fat cooked out of the rib and I like to pre-cook it this way. So I'm going to let this come to a full boil and it's going to cook and I'm going to look at this meat to make sure that it has cooked some um, not too much, probably about 15 minutes. So we are now to the point that the ribs are ready to come out of the pot. So I'm going to take them. This is what they look like. I'm going to put them in the colander. Drain the water off of them. Glasses are fogging up.
Usually I cook a lot more ribs than this, but tonight it's just Nelson and I, so we are going to have ribs for dinner, which is very rare that we have ribs just for the two of us. So now I'm going to take and slip these ribs into this bowl, and they're hot, and I'm going to slip them over here. So now what I'm going to do, okay, this is easy, y'all. This is the best stuff ever. Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. It says it's award-winning, and I believe it. I've tried many different types of sauces, and you can see the size container that I purchased. My, my, my. I use a whole heck of a lot of this stuff. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to thoroughly coat the ribs in this sauce. Now, to be honest, the majority of the time that I do this, I put the ribs on a baking sheet, and then I pour the baby back, I pour the, the sweet baby rays over the baby rack ribs, but I don't feel like they get as coated as I would like for them to with the barbecue sauce. And so I just decided that this time that I would just put them in here, move the sauce all around, on the ribs, toss them a little bit. So now they have the amount of barbecue sauce on them that I want, and I'm going to put them on this bakey dish or cookie sheet. And the reason I do it this way, as you will see, I have placed a piece of aluminum foil. I sprayed it thoroughly with Pam and now I am putting the ribs on it. And I do it this way because I just like easy cleanup. And this is by far the easiest cleanup that you will ever have cooking ribs. Um, when I get finished with this, the only thing I have to do is to remove the little bit of tin foil from this plate this tray and I don't have any scrubbing to do. It all stays contained on the tin foil and it is just simple and easy. So I know that there are a lot of different ways of cooking ribs, but this is the way I have found that my family likes them. Um, we do a lot of, uh, our boys live here with, in town with us, so I always do a birthday dinner for them. And this year I asked Jonathan what he wanted for his dinner. He said, Mom, cook whatever's the easiest for you. And I thought, well, that's not a suggestion, but it was kind of thought. So Timothy walks in the house and I said, Timothy, tell me what I need to cook for Jonathan's birthday dinner. He said, Mom, cook ribs. So I never go wrong. And it's also what my baby Lucas loves. So I am going to put these right now in the oven. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. They are going to go in. I'm probably going to cook them for about 30 minutes um, at 350. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to make homemade cream potatoes, Yukon Gold. I'm going to stir those up and put those on the pot, and then I will come up with a vegetable, and that will be our dinner. When we get ready to take those out, I will show them to you. Fine. Okay, so here they are. And I am going to take one off and put it on this platter. Oh, they're perfect. It's just the excess sauce that is just a little fried. The ribs themselves will be amazing. I know they will be delicious. So, Nelson and I are going to have a feast. I don't know how we're gonna eat all this. We'll just have good leftovers tomorrow. I wish my Lucas was here to eat because he loves them so much. There are probably a thousand ways to cook these ribs, but I can assure you that when I, when we start eating, they will literally fall off the bone. The meat will fall off the, the bone. Now, this is why I cook it this way, as you can see. In just a few seconds, this will be in the trash can, and I will have very little cleanup to do. So, I hope that you will try it this way. Please do. Let me know your results. I love feedback. 
Um, so anytime that you want to share, positive or negative, I am willing to read it and um, learn by it. So uh, please consider making them this way and let me know what you think. Thank you.